Let's go look at that question. There, nice one. So let's look at this, guys. It's not super clear, but I'll read it for you guys. During a heat wave, Mlungisi decided to sell ice cream sandwiches to her fellow scholars. The sandwiches are cylindrical and packed in a rectangular prism. So you can see, this is the cylindrical um, sandwich, fancy sandwich, cylindrical sandwich, and then it's packed into a rectangular prism. That's what they're saying to us, okay? So these are going to be put into a rectangular prism. There's, there's the rectangular prism. You guys can see it, now. Let me just erase so that it does not overwhelm you. We've got, that's the container that it's being put in. Okay. The dimensions of the cylindrical ice cream sandwiches are as follows. The radius of one of the ice cream sandwiches um, is 3.5 centimeters. And the height of one of the ice cream sandwiches is, so we've got the, the height and we've got the radius. Radius is from the center to the edge of the cookie and the radius in this particular case is 3.5 3.5 centimeters and then the height this is the height ne? the height in this particular case is 3 centimeters we've got the height we've got the radius of that cookie oh it's not a cookie it's a sandwich it looks like a nice cookie over there okay Refer to the picture and information below and answer the questions that follow. Look at this, guys. We've got the pictures, but look at, look at this that I'm talking about. We've got formulas. We're always given formulas. Our problem is we don't know how to use the formulas. So what's the use of being given something if you don't know how to use it? Learn how to use it. 3.1.1, define the term perimeter. It's not the first time that we are seeing this question. And it's, it's there to show us that it maths literacy questions repeat themselves over and over and over again. Perimeter. Perimeter is the sum of the sides. So whenever you have a square, for instance, how many sides does a square have? It's got four sides. So all you are doing is adding the four sides. One, two, three, four. Okay? That's perimeter. So perimeter is the sum of the dimensions or the sum of the sides. Dimension is just another word for side. And if you listen um, carefully, you'll hear that I always say that. Let's go and write that down. 3.1.1. Um, perimeter is the sum of the dimensions if you want to be fancy dimensions or size okay 3.1.2 3.1.2 is a bit of a lengthy question it says to us the height of the rectangular prism in which the ice cream sandwiches are packed. So now we're going to the container. Okay, we've got the sandwiches. Now we've got the container that we're putting the sandwiches in. We told that the height of this prism is 17 centimeters. Determine how many ice cream sandwiches can be put in the box. How many is a key word in its own, guys? If someone says to you that I've got this prism, how many sandwiches are going to fit in there? I'm dividing one thing with another. In this particular case, I've been given the height. It means that I'm going to be dividing the height of, um, the, height of the prism with the height of the sandwiches. Okay? In this case, the height, the height of this rectangular box is 17 centimeters. And then the height of the sandwiches is 3 centimeters. What am I doing? Just dividing into each other. Let's go in and do that. So it's going to be um, height 1 divided by height 2. Height 1 is what? It's the 17 centimeters of the... Um, I almost just said um, lunchbox of this, which is... 
the container that the sandwiches are going into. And then we are told here that the height of one ice cream sandwich is three centimeters. So I'm dividing that by three centimeters. Always remember, you have to divide centimeters into centimeters. The unit of measurement needs to be the same. If the one was centimeters and the one was meters, we were going to have to do some conversions in between. I'm going to answer it right there. So 17 divided by 3, 5 and 2 thirds, 5,67. But what you need to know is that you can't have 5,67 sandwiches. Can you just imagine eh? going into, I hope that's how you spell sandwiches. You, you didn't have to write it though. Okay, you do spell it like that. So because you cannot have 5,67 sandwiches, logically, and that's the thing with um, mass literacy, it's real life situations. You can't have 5,67 sandwiches, guys. You cannot. You cannot have 5,67 sandwiches. And because you cannot have 5,67 sandwiches, it's either you're rounding up or you're rounding down. You need to make that decision now. And because if I make it six sandwiches, the sandwiches won't fit into that container. They're going to be squashed. So now it means that I need to round down so that the sandwiches can remain in their original form. Math literacy always needs to make sense to you guys. So in this particular case, it is going to be five sandwiches that are going to fit in this container. Five sandwiches. Don't be obsessed with the spelling, but it is important for you guys to understand what you are doing. The next question then says to us, Calculate the volume of one ice cream sandwich. What is the nice thing? We've already been given the formula of volume. So it says to us that volume is pi times radius squared times height. And then it says to us here the radius that we need to use, uh, not the radius, sorry, the pi value that we need to use is 3,142. Always, always, always use um, the, not formula, but the value that you have been given. Sometimes they'll say 3,14. Sometimes it's going to be 3,142. So just because the question paper you were using um, to practice said to you 3,14, don't think that then it's going to be anything different to that. Always use what is given in the question paper. Let's go calculate the volume of one ice cream sandwich. Volume, as we are told, is pi times radius square. That square only applies to the radius, guys, times the height, 3,142 radius. In this particular case, we were told that the radius is 3,5. You remember, there's that 3,5 over there. 3,5, and the height is 3. Again, it's the same unit of measurement. This was centimeter, and this was centimeter. So don't... Um, mistaken that if the one was meter the one was centimeter or the one that was millimeter and the other was centimeter we were first going to go and convert um, into the same yes units of measurement so in this particular case it's going to be 3,142 times 3,5 times 3 and then that's going to be 32 991 and that's going to be centimeter cube and then guys here in this particular case we haven't been told um, whether to round it off or not but if the question paper says to you round it off to two decimal places you are going to have to make it 3 32 because that one doesn't have an effect on anything okay stunning be careful with your rounding off because it does affect how you are being marked. 3.1.4. Mlungisi is worried about her weight after eating too, much, too many ice cream sandwiches. Her body mass index is currently 29, 
1.38 kilograms um, per meter square, and she is 1.6 meters tall. Determine her current mass and round off your answer to the nearest kilograms. So in this particular case, BMI was not, they didn't give us BMI with a table, um, with a, yes, with a, with a graph. We're just being asked BMI blindly, not blindly, but easily, you know, um, and it's just three marks. So let's look at the BMI that we are, the formula for BMI that we are given. I want you guys to look at this formula before I can use it. So this formula that we are given for BMI says to us, use the following formula. It says to us, BMI is equals to mass in kilograms all over height in meter square. In this particular case, we've been given the BMI and we've been given how tall this person is. Let us go and see if we can calculate the mass. It means that we need to manipulate um, the formula that we have been given. So BMI is equal to mass in kg all over height in meters, but this height is squared. So be careful in terms of that. And we are looking for the mass, meaning um, that th this height has to come this side somehow. Let's go see. If I wanted that height to do that, I would multiply both sides by that height square. Yes, it would work out like that. So what would I do? I would say BMI times height square is equals to mass. Yeah, I'm actually going to just leave it like that. Let's do that. Is equals to mass. Please know how to manipulate your formulas, guys. You don't want to be caught um, in trouble when it comes to these things. So the BMI is 29.38 times 1.65 equals to mass. So now we can calculate the mass. Let's use our calculator. Okay. 29.38 times 1.65. 48.5. So now I want to show you something about the mass. I mean, not the mass, but rounding off. Can you see that this was given to two decimal places and this was given to two decimal places? It means that you should also try to round your answer off to two decimal places. And I know that these days in the papers, they say to, they'll say to you guys, round it off to um, the given context. Can you see that the given context here is two decimal places and the given is also two, so it means that you need to go and round it off to two decimal places. Let's round it off to two decimal places. It's gonna be 48.48 kilograms. So this is this person's mass. Okay.